si wangu njiri. Welcome woman of you can pass this way. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Come on appreciate my sister the pastor of prayer beyond boundaries. Evangel Lucy Wangunjiri. Can we sit for a few minutes? I greet you all in Jesus' name. I honor you, your excellencies. The reason why we came it is because of what I said last year, the song that defeats the enemy. If you know you are encountering a group of people who are your enemies, and somebody happened to tell you a secret, that there is a song you can sing, and when your enemies happen to hear that you know this song, they will free they will not attack. Somebody full of the Holy Spirit was used of God to come up with something out of that. That the song that defeats the enemy it is thanksgiving. So somebody was told somewhere, if you are attack, being attacked by your enemies and you know when you thank God, the enemies flee. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Christians, fellow Kenyans, you don't need to bow before the Almighty and give him the best, worshiping him from your hearts, because it is the song that defeats the enemy. We are gathered here today from far and near, and those who are watching from far, because you know there is a secret, there is a song, that when we sing it not from our lips, but we sing it from our hearts, the enemy of our faith frees. The enemy of our nation flees. The enemy of our harvest flees. What a precious privilege that we are in the beginning of the year and we came to sing the song that will cause the enemies of January, February, March, all the way to December to free. The Lord Almighty, he gave us a harvest because he is a God of harvests and we have harvested. My God, how I feel good walking behind my vineyard at home and I get what we call terere and I'm able to enjoy the terere. We are able to enjoy actually some of what we are enjoying we did not plant. And it is what is called from the Hebrew language that I speak on radio, maiteka. These are those greens that grow not because somebody came and planted them but because the manure that was spread somewhere had the seeds and then they just grow. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Kenyans, we are gathered here because the Lord decided to give us mighty car beyond what we can imagine. And our hearts are coming together today. In the harvest that we got, we enjoyed mighty car. We enjoyed mighty car. And so the harvester. I was watching aloud and I know you bear me witness. Every corner of our nation, the kind of green. You know somebody told me there are different types of the color green. But there is the green that is so heavenly, that which came from heaven. It is because of the rains that we enjoy the green we are seeing. Ladies and gentlemen, our faithful God has indeed given us a harvest. Psalm 103, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. He gave you what you didn't even deserve. The Lord has given us beyond our imaginations. 
Because he thrives in doing beyond our expectations. He does exceedingly, abundantly for his own glory. And so we came running. I saw people come running. We came driving. We came jumping. We came smiling. Because the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Makaya de Bosataya, he has given us a harvest. The Bible records, and when he has done this, recognize he did it. Yesterday early morning, as I take you to prayer, I was honored to call, privileged to call our, our, uh, our apostle. He's right here with us. And on radio, he was shouting, actually. Actually, he shouted it. Apostle William Kemani, the ladies and gentlemen, Evangelist who are good in the world know <laughs> that Rachel gave birth, but when she demanded more, she died. Let the world know that Hannah gave birth, and instead of demanding more, she went back to the house of the Lord to give him praise. And so we came today. <laughs> Not because of what we have, but because of the harvest that is ahead of us. And we came to tell Jehovah, we have cried to you over the years. We were ridiculed when the rains were not coming. We have called unto heavens, Jehovah, in all humility. We are back to you to say, you have done it. You have done as well. The Lord of heaven. We all know, ladies and gentlemen. The thanksgiving turns that which is not enough into enough. Because God thrives in doing it that way. It is a principle that when we thank God for the little, he gives us more. Thanksgiving turns what is negative into positive. And because we came to enjoy Remakatara Baboria, we came to enjoy the harvest. We came to enjoy that which our God has done. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Kenyans, fellow Christians in all humility, the Lord will establish us beyond our imaginations and give us harvest. Not only this month, not only the many mangoes I'm seeing outside my house, not only the many Mango trees, we see them. And the harvest of fruits, uh, the harvest of... I was talking to a woman in Githurai Market selling melons. And she was saying, tomorrow early morning, I will not sell melons because I sowed so much. I'm coming to tell God thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Rekana Mama Mayanda, God is not waiting to see us. Thank him for all the big things. But our God is attentive for the literal, literal, True things he has done. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the negative will be turned into positive. In all humility and full of the Spirit of God, somebody grace said that if all the prayers we ever make under the face of the earth is thanksgiving, is telling God thank you, that would serve us. Behold, we came to tell him thank you, we have harvested. Show me somebody who appreciates the meal on the table. And I will show you somebody who counts the blessings. And I will show you somebody who knows even the meal. There is a song I sing in the Hebrew language. I cannot be able to thank you God for what you have given me. Because the dress I wear, it is from you. The cup of water I take, <clears throat> it is from you. Oh God, the sunshine, it is from you. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Kenyans, can I humbly request that we all start and we will honor Jehovah for the great harvest we have enjoyed and the great harvest we are going to enjoy towards the end of the year and the years to come in all humility why we are here it is not only for last year what we are doing today will take us to years ahead because there is a God of principles and he honors the principles he has to start by his principle when you honor him he does exceedingly abundantly above hallelujah are you there with me the song that does what? <clears throat> that defeats the enemy. The only word, if, you, if the only way you pray, if the only words you utter, any time you bow before God to pray, is Asante Mungo. 
that would service. History has it that my, many people who have excelled in life under the face of the earth are the people who counted the blessings along the journey. And they looked back, they saw each step and they honored the, the almighty God in his majesty who walked with us from that step, that other step, this other step. And people who believe in God know so well that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. We know it. Just open your mouth and say, Makaya rambabo setea. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Ere bakaya rambabo. Mungu. Twasema hakuna mungu kama Yehova. This is from our hearts to you. Hakuna guvu kama zako. We mean it, God. We mean it. This is from our hearts to you. Okoya rababa bosata. Guvu kama zako mungu siyo shindwa. Makaya rababa bosata. Tuasema wewe tu diwe mungu wetu. This is our declaration Kenya. Mungu wetu. Let's tell him we ni mungu wetu. Makaya da babo seteria. We wetu. Fellow Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen, we ate, we drank, we were given of God. Open your mouth and tell him, for everything that I ate, it was from you. Everything that I drank, it was from you. It wasn't from my money. It wasn't from my salary. Rimakaya na babosa taya. Chochote nilikula. Chochote nimekula katika maisha haya. Chochote nilikula last year. It was from your harvest. Everything that I ate came from you, Jehovah. Everything that I ate, everything that we see in our lands, everything we see in our farms, came from you, Jehovah. Tunakili ya kwamba, makaya da bosa taya, nebukoria ni maseta kalia, Jehovah, Jehovah, everything we ate, everything we ate, everything we are, makaya raba.
came from you babo sataya chakula chetu kilitoka kwa ko jehova maji tuliokunywa ni kwa sababu ya harvest jehova mungu sio shindwa tumerudi kusema umetenda maajabu baba yiki na masataya yiki na masheteri alibokaya baba jehova jehova we have come to honor you we have come to honor you we have come to praise you we have come to exalt you we have come to magnify you maya na makuta rababoria everything we are everything we have came from you we honor you today rebakaya Tulikula mchele because you gave us. Tulikula ugari because you are God of harvest. Tulikula chapati because you are God of harvest. Tulikula dizi because you are God of harvest. Tulikula doma because you are God of harvest. Tulikula sweet potatoes because you are God of harvest. Tulikunywa chai because you are God of harvest. Tulikunywa uchi because you are God of harvest. Mama kaya raba baba baba. It is because of who you are. It is because of your majesty. We eat because you are God. We drink because you are God. Father in heaven, we honor you. Hallelujah. If the only prayer you make is a thanksgiving prayer, that would be service. If the only prayer we make is a santi mungu, that would take us to another level. Ladies and gentlemen, God did it. God gave us. God gave us. God was faithful. God is forever faithful. And so we honor you. Hallelujah. Ningetaka kwa unyenyekevu tuombe pamoja sasa. Kai back what I'm saying by your amen. In all humility as I stand in front of my seniors everywhere. My fathers. I stand before all of us. Ladies and gentlemen just back the prayer I'm making. with your amen may it be so i have cried a lot today this week because for the last 24 years i've been making a prayer crying to god of kenya over all this in a radio station that is not a christian radio station being secular but the word of god has done wonders So I am talking to a God that I know. God is not checking his files to get to understand who this woman is. God is not consulting anyone to check who this woman is. I have guarded my integrity in the media. I have guarded the spiritual integrity in the media for 24 years. that I may stand here and call and I can assure you they joy gaine ajiguaga I know God hears agree with me heavenly father in Jesus name you have given us harvest it is because of your majesty you displayed your majesty on Kenya and you chose to give us a huge harvest we are gathered here to say thank you you do not have a device as jehovah <laughs> you have no one to advise you but in your majesty you chose to give us show us your favor and you gave us exceedingly 
abundantly above what we could think or imagine. And so we are back to you. And we are saying, We ate ugali. We ate chapati. We ate mchere. We ate arrowroot stoma. We ate the sweet potatoes. We've been eating. And because you are God of harvest, you gave all that to us. We are standing in your presence as a holy nation. And we are all saying, Kama sio wewe Mungu tungekuwa wapi kama taifa tungekuwa wapi kama kanisa lakini kwa uwezo wako kwa neema zako kwa nguvu zako Jehova ukasikia kilio chetu ukasikia maombi yetu ukaona kuteseka kwetu ni kwa sababu wewe Mungu unaona kama vile uliona Israeli wakiwa Misri Jehova vikafika mahali ukasema ah nimeona kilio umeona kilio cha wana Kenya umeona na kilio cha kanisa umeona kilio chetu jehova ukatubariki heavy harvest we are gathered here to say if this is the only song that we will sing from now to december almighty father king of all glory heavenly master my god and my father god of all flesh god of all majesty just accept our thanksgiving we are grateful and because thanksgiving turns what is not enough into enough we are grateful and we thank you in advance that the end of this year to the end of the year we will have plenty because you are not a man that you should lie because you work behind your word and you have elevated your word more than your name and so all of us for the wonderful harvest and for the far you are taking us we are gathered here jehovah we are gathered in your presence with our hearts lifted unto you and we are saying in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit again we say come and see your wewe ningekuwa wapi raka paposha teria dibokaya na mata i receive
your hands together appreciate our God who is in heaven and is listening to all our prayers if you can give a crap offering to our God it is a he is a God who is able to listen to hear and to respond and to perform according 
to the faith you have in what you have prayed. So if you believe, can you put your hands together for this God who is hearing? And because you have been praying for a long time, I want you to see just a little so that I can speak something. And I want you to appreciate my father. Why are you sitting down? Stand and appreciate our father. He is in the house. A father by excellence. A great father indeed. If you can't see me standing here, it is because he is. And therefore he can produce greatness. If you want greatness, can you put your hand together and appreciate God for our father? And a second one for our mother, Reverend Ronica. A great mother. A great mother. A great mother in the land. A great mother in the church. A wonderful mother. Oh, she has brought us up. And she takes care of this great man of God. Can you put her, your hands together? I appreciate our mother. And I want all of us, because we came here to reignite, reroad the king's daughters, which she started. And it is going to be greater, bigger than it has ever been. I want you to go before the Lord and call upon the Lord and bless God for our mother, Ronica. Before we can pray for the nation, you must pray for the one who births. And this is one who is a spiritual mother who has birthed many in this sanctuary, has spread her wings across our churches and across many of the churches that you see. She brought up the pastors you see here in Ruaka, in Rongai, in many, in Mombasa. This is a woman we are praying for. I want you to go with understanding and pray for our mother, Reverend Ronica. Riba kanta shati kuzikurianda rarababashai. Hizikanta yeshua na makaziko roboko zikara ramama masaya. Haya na mama ya bau baba shika ta baba mama ya ramaka yeke si kora mahanda rebeke si kara baba shiko te si kara ramaba shota rababa ya our Lord and our God we are here to work to, to thank you to glorify you for giving us a wonderful mother in the land in the name of Jesus a wonderful mother in the church in the name of Jesus our Lord and our God a faithful mother a righteous mother one who knows nothing but you oh God from when she rises up to the time she sleeps oh God it is all about you Jehovah many years she has been on the altar praying for us we take this opportunity Lord and the chance that you have given us at the beginning oh God of the reroded king's daughter to appreciate you for our mother Ronica oh God oh Lord almighty we pray that this time oh God she will be strengthened by the hand of Jehovah oh Lord God arise 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 oh God arise oh God and cover our mother in the name of Jesus. Speak to her spirit, O oh God, this time, O oh God. Strengthen her in the name of Jesus. Oh dear God, restore her again. Encourage her in the name of Jesus. We stand here as daughters, O oh God, to praise you for a mother in the name of Jesus. And to pray, O oh God, for pro pro providence, O oh God. O oh God, we pray for sufficiency of grace upon her life in the name of Jesus. As we pray for her, we pray for our bishop, oh God. We pray for, uh, for Paul and we pray for Esther, oh God. Oh Lord God, oh my Lord and my Father. We are so thankful because they heard your voice, oh God. They heard your call, oh God. And they have consistently and faithfully, oh God, stood. That is why we stand here, oh God. As the offsprings, oh God, of their lions and their womb in the name of Jesus. We are so thankful.
hopeful. We call her by her name, our mother, Reverend Ronica. May God be with you in the name of Jesus. May God expand you this year in the name of Jesus. May God prosper you and may God give you health in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. You can give God a crap offering. I know our mother is safe, is strengthened, encouraged, and she's growing bigger and greater. You may have your seat. Just allow me to speak just a few minutes, if I'm allowed. We have heard about expansion and enlargement. And God is saying, do not pair. Do not what? Do not spare any strength in your expansion. Your expectation should go beyond what you pray, what you imagine, and what you ask. This year, according to the prophecy, we are going to expand to the right and to the left. A nation is not made by the land. A nation is made by the people. So when I pray, I will pray with understanding, and I want you also to pray with understanding. A nation is you and myself. When you and I fail, a nation fails. When you succeed and I succeed, a nation succeeds. And I'm so glad we shall be blessed. This land is blessed. As it is, the land is blessed. Say amen. amen. The land can produce. Anytime there is rain, you see the land produces all by itself. You plant no flowers. You see flowers springing up and it is all beautiful. Even where there was no grass, you see grass growing up and therefore the land is blessed. It is the people who are working on it that have gone to sleep. Amen. And so when we pray, you must also know one thing. There is one particular concern that Jesus had when he left this earth. And this is what somebody is kidding the voice and you are making me stray. They say uh, um, in Luke 18 verse 8. Everything you have played here, God is able to do everything. And Jesus said, I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. Everything you have asked, it can be given quickly, immediately, suddenly by God. But this is what Jesus said, however, and this is a sad thing for the nation and the church today. However, when the Son of Man comes, Will he find faith on the earth? Everything that you need is planted, grounded, founded in faith. For with faith all things are... It doesn't matter whether you are it's a retro faith, greater faith. All you need is a grain of a master seed, equal faith, and God will activate whatever it is that you need. We can come to church and pray, but if you pray and you don't have faith, then you are wasting your time. For if you pray and doubt, it shall not happen. I am one person who is very concerned by the nation and the church today. Everybody is busy looking for things. Everybody is busy looking for bigger things, but they are not interested in the owner and the giver of the bigger things. They have no knowledge of the one who gives the bigger and the greater things. For you shall seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all things 
shall be given. What do you believe? And when you believe, who do you believe? And if that person you believe, how much faith and trust do you have in this person you believe? It is a question the nation needs to ask itself. For when you believe in God, you must know him. And if you know him, to know somebody, you must spend time with them. We don't spend time with God. We don't spend time with God. We pursue things and spend time looking for things. Looking for relationships, but not that one of God. If you want a good relationship, pursue God's relationship. Spend time in relationship with God, he will minister to your relationship. How much time do you spend with God is a question. How much time? As a nation, do we spend before God? If he's going to act in this nation, we must pray and spend time with him. We must know him as he is. Our God is not a supermarket where you come and pick things and draw lists. What he desires is faith and he wants to spend time with you because he wants a relationship with you. The next thing is that every one of us has a chance to succeed. Every one of us has time and chance to succeed for time and chance are given to me and yourselves same. You go to America, time is 24 hours. Go to Australia, time is 24 hours. Come Kenya, time is 24 hours. What are we doing with the time and chance God has given us? Is a question. And finally, if you want this nation to prosper, there is one thing you must do. You must work. You must work. It doesn't matter who you are. You must work. And work in found is found in service of God and service of mankind. Stand, we pray now. I think now you will pray with understanding. You can pray 24 hours. But if you are not going to wake up and take the jamba and go to, to the shamba, it is not going to produce anything. You can pray and continue praying. But if you don't work in your marriage and work in your relationship, it's not going to work. You must work on it. And that's why you must have faith in this God who started families and gave us this nation. Let's go to God and pray. Holy Spirit of the living God, we are here, O Jehovah God, concerning Kenya. We are thankful that you gave us a good nation. We thank you that the land and the fullness thereof, it is full of gold, it is full of silver. The land is plentiful and bountiful because, Lord, you ordained it so. The cattle in the land belongs to you, dear God, and everything that belongs to you is good. So we have a good land. Oh God, Father God, you have also created the people. And these are good people that are in Kenya, oh God. I prophesy today in the name of Jesus that the land will start to produce as your people start to know you, as your people start to have faith in you, as your people start to ask of you. Jehovah Father, you are the one who is holding the key of David. You are opening the door of prosperity and enlargement in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, you are not a man that you should lie. You said we shall expand in the, to the right and to the left, oh God. Even now to the north and to the south. Where there is no limitation by the word of God. And therefore we come for the people who live in the north. We bless you, O oh Jehovah. And we pray that, Father, that you have knowledge and understanding of how 
to work on their land in the name of Jesus. I pray for relationships within the people. Every tribe, every clan, every person. Father God, we shall stand united from the north to the south, from the east to the west. Father God, we stand surrendered and yielded to you, O oh God. We have prayed about our families. We know our families are blessed. So now, Father God, I stand here. You have given us a presidency that came in and has declared itself it came in by prayer. Our Lord and our God, you cannot bring in what you cannot be able to sustain. We pray for the seven spirits of God to rest upon the presidency so that Lord God Almighty, the spirit of the Lord shall be upon them. They shall be wise. They shall have knowledge. They shall have understanding into the things that Lord God Almighty, you want to do as they serve this nation. Oh my Lord and my God, they shall have counsel of the Holy Spirit. My Lord, my God, we shall not deviate fruit from the right to the right or to the left but our steps shall be ordered by you concerning the people of Kenya in the name of Jesus father God we know in the fear of the Lord shall this nation be, be, be ruled in the name of Jesus. Above all, oh God, the president, the deputy president, the first lady, the second lady, oh God, and the whole government is subject to the king of kings in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, you shall reign and have dominion in Kenya. We refuse to take your seat in the name of Jesus. We refuse Jehovah God to go by the way people speak. Oh God, we pray that the word of God shall come fresh again with the anointing, oh God, that shall be able to make that establishment, that enlargement in the name of Jesus. The spirit of poverty, we speak to you today. Kenya is a wealthy country. Kenya is a rich country. Because it's ruled by a rich and a wealthy God. And therefore, we command every spirit of poverty to live now in the name of Jesus. As we serve you, God, may the work of our hands be blessed of you. May every word in this country receive, O oh God, leadership that fears the Lord. And may the Lord himself reign over the homestead, the ward, the constituency, the, uh, the, the, the constituencies and every county. We pray, O oh God, for the president to be guided by you. We pray for the deputy president to be guided by you. We pray for the Senate to be guided by you. We pray for the National Assembly to be guided by you. We pray for the governors to be guided by you. We pray that the judiciary shall be guided by you. Our Lord, even the, the county government, Father God, you shall reign. Oh, we pray, oh God. That even the cabinet uh, secretaries, Father God, all ministers, all manner of workers you have placed in every office shall receive your word, shall receive your grace. This country is changing. 2024 is our year of expansion. It's our year of manifestation. For this God shall glorify himself. It is not by power, it is not by might, but by the spirit of the living God. I pray for the faith to rise in the things that you have done, O oh God. My Lord and my God, this nation has everything to thank you, O oh God. When there was no rain and there was a famine, O oh God, it is by prayer. Drought that has, was worse than 40 years. Father God, now this is rain that is on us, O oh God. We have had consecutive crops now, and it is bumper harvest. As a nation, we want to thank you. As a people, we want to thank you. 
Lord God Almighty, know that, Father God, we don't take you for granted. Every prayer we have brought to you, you have answered. Our Lord and our God, this nation has children. We are praying that, Lord God, they will not go wayward. Father God, we have a crisis in alcohol and drug abuse. And Father, we have been before your face, O oh God, at feet, at our, on our knees praying that the boy child will not be destroyed. We come here, Father God, to thank you. We have seen transformation of many. Father God, some of them are turning around just by prayer. Others, Father God, they have gone to rehabs and they are coming out transformed men, fathers and leaders of this nation. How can we ever thank you, Lord? How can we ever thank you, Lord? We are so grateful, O oh God, because you have spared us, O oh God, from destruction and from, O oh Jehovah God, why, why, why a generation being wiped out. Father God, we thank you for everything that you are doing, what you will do. And Lord God, we promise you, whether you do anything or you don't do anything in this country, you still remain our God. We shall worship you as our God. We shall praise you as our God. But because you are a good father and all things come from you, we receive them today in the name of Jesus. Healing is coming upon the land in the name of Jesus. Healing is coming upon the families in the name of Jesus. In our marriages in the nation, Father God, there shall be unity, O oh God, of purpose in the name of Jesus. We thank you for every plan that has been made, O oh God, for this nation. We welcome you, dear Lord, to do your will and to establish your purposes. For we pray this in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. And the church says, yeah. Amen. Is that how you celebrate your success? The expansion is not a question. Expansion is a must. Because we read there, you shall. There is no otherwise. It is well. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And we want to end this service by giving not only a crop offering, but an offering that you say, a seed offering. Okay? You cannot come the first day and not up in the heavens. Everything you ask of God, a sacrifice is a platform for your receiving. We must teach ourselves to give. You went to God, you asked. One time, there was Abraham. Of course, our father will come. But I want you first to give that seat. And our father will do the benediction. I cannot do benediction when my father is in the house. I want you to package that seat. One day, Abraham had stayed for a very long time. And he wanted to know, God, this child you told me, will he come to me? And he was asked, give a sacrifice. After that, things changed. So bring your sacrifice to the altar. This one you are bringing here. Yeah. Let them bring to the altar. Let it put, be put here. So that when our father is doing the benediction, it will start speaking for you. Thank you. And when you package a seed offering for a beginning of a thing, it should be something that is worth before God. Don't give God what costs you nothing. God does not need your money. It is you who need God and his blessing. I also need to do that.
devotion shama I see you everywhere Hallelujah. Blessed redeemer your glory fills the earth Everlasting father the one who watches me I put my confidence alone in Jehovah Shama Jehovah Shama I see you everywhere Blessed Redeemer Your glory fills the earth Everlasting Father The one who sponsors me I put my confidence alone in Jehovah Shema Jehovah Shema Mo Akune Chepa Wan Odo Mane Bemma Oh, Lori, 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 everlasting Father, the one who sponsors me. I put my confidence alone in Jehovah Shama. Jehovah, 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 Jehovah Shama. Let's worship. Ah, we're just getting into it, oh. We can do a stance of that, then I can speak and minister, Kidogo, to some people. Amen. There are two songs, actually. There's also one song I was requesting her to prepare to sing. There was also another one after this. All right? Let me give you a testimony, can I? Can I give you a testimony? Last night, uh, for some reason, there was this song in my spirit at night. So, I normally don't put my TV in the bedroom on, but I put my TV on last night. It was around one o'clock in the morning, and it was Eze Ebube. Eze Ebube. Now, my wife was asleep, but when it, for the first time, she woke up, sat on her bed, and she lifted her two hands. And she was worshiping now now i looked around i didn't say anything i looked around she was worshiping on that song but one thing i noticed and i was trying to understand what is going on she was just wiping her tears you know just wiping her tears as she was worshiping with that song so i in my smallest of mind I started to think, what could she be thinking about? One thing my wife never forgets is Sunday. Every Sunday is my worst day in my home because she wakes up at four to prepare to come to church. And I know that she can't come. So I have to keep on telling her the driver will come, which of course the driver doesn't. But she wakes up at four every Sunday. Before I came here, she was telling me, these drivers who keep on saying they're coming and they're not coming, you need to now correct another driver. <laughs> you know? So, she can forget everything but not Sunday. Sunday, I'm reminded on Saturday that tomorrow is church and I'm preparing to come. And that is a difficult time for us. So, God is working in his own way. Amen. I could not believe she woke up, sat on her bed, lifted her two hands, and all she could do was wipe her tears. And I didn't want to think what she was thinking about at that particular time. So as you continue praying, we know God is working. Amen. 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 So let's do the song. And then, Arbi, I want to speak to you. You know, you thought you're coming for King's Daughters, but you're bringing yourself here. God has told me to tell you, you're entering a higher dimension this year. Listen to me. Your coming here was very prophetic. When you texted me and told me what time I'm coming, I told you I'm coming at a particular time. It was very prophetic for you. 
in the level or dimension of spirits, we, we, we don't carry the same anointing. Anointings are different. And I know you've been ministering and traveling and what have you. But from this day, you'll see a greater anointing resting in your life. From this day. A heavy anointing, a heavier one. You'll have invitations you never thought could happen to you. And when you minister, great impact will take place. I will anoint you with oil. Where's oil, by the way? I won't take you so long about this. But I, was, I have to be obedient to the Spirit. Is that okay? I have to be obedient to the Spirit. You thought you were bringing yourself here. Coming to support me. You brought yourself for your own word. By the way, you also have been having this feeling. So I'm confirming exactly what you've been battling with and wondering and seeing, am I thinking right? Am I feeling right? You have been feeling right. You have been feeling right. Stretch your hand toward him. The world is opening to you in a very great manner. Your name will be heard abroad and in the land. You will have to choose where to go because invitations will be too much. And when you are invited,